Bowfield and people, and welcome to another exciting episode that is Bow Tie Friday here at the House of Oleology, and I'm mm. here with my fantastic co-host Sasha. Oh, stop it, Chris! Oh, you brush up okay yourself. You show me up every single week. Let me tell you, <laughs> that's it. And uh, people, I love tools, as you know. Looked in the mirror this morning, saw a really big one. So there you go. And of course, we're here at Oleology to treat your water. That's it. So, Sash, what have we got there? We've got some nasty looking water here. That oh, that's emulsified. Highly, highly. Even just, uh, you know, what people think, a bit of settling at the bottom here, but that is, that's mixed up real good. Then. A little bit like me, mixed up real good. <laughs> real mixed up. Real good. All right. And then you're holding something in your hand there. That I am. I got a prop. I got a prop, prop, which is an EB, our emulsion breaker, people. So this is a one Ooh. micron little beauty, and we use this uh, to break down some emulsions. We go down even smaller than this, but this little bad boy is my selection mm. fused, and it helps us to uh, filter out all the bad stuff. So we get to what, Sars? Not to this sort of result. Oh, look. Oh, I can, look oh, at that. Oh, look. You can see my hand behind it because it's not <laughs> nasty anymore. Amazing. Look Amazing. at that colour difference. Along with everything else that you may not see. Yep. But there's reduction in odour. Yes. No sheen. Yes. And... Uh, Once again, like me, no sheen. Fantastic. <laughs> all right. And this episode, people, is brought to you by the little hand sanitizer that we've all got to use right now so we don't get stuck by that magical <sighs> Mexican virus called the coronavirus. What goes well with the coronavirus? What goes well with coronavirus? Uh, limes. 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 <laughs> limes goes well with that. But uh, so no, stop seriously. Up limes, all right? Seriously, uh, look out for people. Um, you know, obviously we say that every week, and uh, and we don't like to. Uh, you know, although we make a joke about that, it is pretty serious. So mm. um, so you know, check on all your people. Paul's coming back from Malaysia this week, so mm. we're going to stick him into quarantine for fourteen <laughs> days, people. He's going to talk to us through the glass. We're all going to come in with uh, with pee masks on and uh, and all everything happening. all happening. He doesn't know that yet, but uh, but that's where we're at. Yeah, we like to throw some surprises around here. Shout out, Sash. Who we got a oh, shout out to this week? Shout out to Lance Rodman over in the US. Hello to all of our brothers and sisters over in the US. Hope you're doing fantastic. So, uh, Lance, don't worry. We will keep you up to date with the AOG. We've got our camera crew at the ready. Bowtie Fridays coming at you, and, and lots of that. Lands. And our lots coffees, coffee. lads. Got yeah. plenty of them. <laughs> yes. Drink a lot of Can't that here. Great. Woo. Ooh, it's going to be fantastic. And we just conveniently also placed, because we're at the nearest station, mm. we are right next to the uh, Oyster Bar. Oyster Bar. Mm, mm. Pretty sure, yeah, we're protecting that industry as well with water treatment. So, Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Doing our thing. So, Sash, I want to, uh, this week, I want to tell everybody about, which they've probably heard uh, mm. at, uh, look out, Greta Thunberg, Mark Ruffalo's coming for you, the new Watch activist. Out. Uh, look for the movie coming out, um, and mm. shout out to uh, Dr. Jimmy Seow yes. um, in regards to Dark Waters. Um, mm. Please go and see that. It's it's uh, based, uh, obviously, on... Uh, what do they call the chemicals, Sash? What do they call them? Oh, the forever chemicals. The forever chemicals. Mm. So we're talking the uh, the fluorotolomers, the uh, the PFAS, the uh, the Not nasty PFAS. nasty contaminants, the uh, the ongoing. Um, but dark waters is all about um, pretty much big business and uh, and yep. what happened in the past. And Mark plays a sensational part in that. And I'd suggest that everybody to understand the gravity of the situation and exactly what we're dealing with mm. in terms of PFAS and what's going on in that in that uh, realm. Um, good idea to go and uh, to go and see that. It's only a little small snapshot of uh, of what's happened, obviously, um, but it's yeah. pretty much uh, pretty much the tip of the iceberg. So, Dark Waters, if you get an opportunity, go see it. Shout out to Mark Ruffalo if he sees this every <laughs> week. I'm sure he does. And if somebody knows yep. that uh, knows him, please pass this on and uh, tell Dude. him that uh, that we're uh, very appreciative of his mm. uh, of his efforts and his activists. Uh, stance that he's taking in that regard at the moment so fantastic yeah and fantastic. then take two if you watch the movie mm. and you want to learn a little bit more then you can come see us at aog for free and get another little insight into pfas 
removal exactly. what is the answer exactly for yeah. that so uh, obviously we're in that realm of PFAS removal we have a system that removes hydrocarbons and PFAS at the same time also our bulk media that removes PFAS is thermally oxidizable so you can thermally oxidize that and that reduces to 5% of its original mass um, and it's inert uh, once you thermally oxidize it so, so it is then good for environment good to put back on the land good for the turtles Good for the turtles. turtles, the little turtles and the mollusks <laughs> and the little mollusks and the, oh, the all the animals, people, because they're taking yeah. a thumping at the moment around Australia. And uh, good news for our friends in New South Wales. Uh, my brother's over there; he's getting drenched at the moment. They're selling plenty of umbrellas. It's all good to uh, it's all good to see. So around the country, a lot of those fires going out at the moment in yeah. Australia. So uh, absolutely plenty of fires through the sales process here at Oleology, people. But uh, happening. But, but not around the rest of Australia, thank goodness. So I think mm. there's only 17 still, you know, still flaming or 15. Goodness. Um, and of course, everybody watches this at uh, Christmas Island Detention Centre. So uh, for all those people there, happy Bowtie Friday. And I yep. uh, hope that coronavirus isn't giving you too much of a hard time and uh, you guys are halfway through your stay, so good for you. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah. so that's about us, really. I think so. For this one. So, so. Um, look, as we always say, check on your people. Um, you know, we're all big Absolutely. advocates for mental health here at Oleology and we want to make sure that all the staff, everybody that we deal with, this is your family, people. You deal... You know, you might have off days and good days, but uh, but 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 basically, you know, we spend eight hours a day, sometimes mm. more together, and that's where the relationships are built. Yeah. So look after your people, check on them, make sure they're okay. Look after your friends. You know, is pretty much where it's at. Um, and as we always say every week, stay well, stay happy, happy. and value, value your time. Mmm, that lovely smell. There it gets old. Fresh mice in the That's morning. Fresh as smell mice. <laughs> what do you want to do? Salt water or? All right. I love the smell of mice selection in the morning. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I think I was a little bit happy with that, people. Yes, a little bit, like a bird. Ooh, birds, happy. <laughs> <laughs>